Good morning, Hayden. Yesterday we were talking about our novels uh, between a series of messages between you and myself, which were um, private, but you said uh, something about Bashful and how he was one of the seven dwarves, and I didn't answer you because I thought I would answer you in video form. Bashful happens to be my favorite of the seven dwarves, so look, I have a giant Bashful. So today I'm going to talk about writing and my process and my novels so far. I know, shock and awe. My novel's going well. I'm writing about a 30 year old writer who goes back to his hometown, New Orleans, for the funeral of his great aunt. My process as a writer is a complete mess. Yesterday I wrote well over 3,000 words, 200 of which actually went to my novel. I wrote so much prose yesterday. I don't know what I was on. I don't know what I just, just feeling all the things. I just felt everything. You, know, you ever get those moments where you're just like, I feel all the emotions. I have to write right now. I get those like on an hourly basis. I'm just like an emotionally volatile bear. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I just feel everything way too much. So I had that yesterday and I was just writing prose and prose and prose and just lots of one line things and haikus. And I actually hate haikus because they're so structured and but there's some Sometimes there's such little rich little nuggets of delicious wordiness and I don't know how to have in-betweens in my writing which is something that I'm struggling with I I either like write solely dialogue which is why I do a lot of screenwriting and also because I want to go into film so screenwriting is like my bread and butter but I do a lot of screenwriting because I'm, I'm fairly decent at writing dialogue but my dialogue is always like crude and fast and witty and then the other end of it is like my poetic like overly <laughs> explained, just lush, over verbose, romantic writing, which I don't know where it comes from. It's like two sides of me that don't know how to coexist and I'm working on melding the worlds. I have this poem which I wrote, which is the prologue of my novel. It's the only thing I've really decided that I'm going to consistently keep. It's the only thing that I that really is the inspiration of the book and sort of sets the tone of the piece that I'm trying to write um, other than my main character who I, I really do love him. He's very flawed and he's very real and he has a lot of elements of people I know and myself that I really love and New Orleans which is definitely my setting and this piece, this little prologue, it's the only things I've finalized and I'm happy with so I'm gonna read you the little prologue um, which doesn't really give you <laughs> any clue as to what the rest of the book is, except it's about youth, so. Excuse me, I have not memorized it, so I'm just gonna read it from my Word document. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, nine years old, so brave, hands clutching those hot metal chains, the swing set groans in the summer heat, the steady metal beat just keeps singing, back and forth, back and forth, our bare feet, so brave, reaching for those white clouds, Maybe if we jumped, we would make it to the sky, but instead you and I just keep swinging back and forth and back and forth. Why didn't we jump? That's sort of where I am. That's my book. That's my process. I'm a scatterbrained creative mess, rah! But it's a good feeling and I'm really happy and I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as I can because I go back to school in a week and I'm not happy about that. Go back to my soul crushing business degree. Ah. Anyway, I hope your writing is going good and I will talk to you soon. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You probably can't hear it, but my neighbors have this thing that ever since I lived here, and I've lived here for like 12 years, um, they just picked the most ridiculous idiotic dogs on the face of the planet that never stop barking. And you probably can't hear it right now, but I can't hear it. I can totally hear it and it's breaking my concentration and it's not acceptable behavior because dogs should just, you know, like be nice to your neighbors, dogs. Like they just pick the most dumb dog. Dogs, dog, stupid dog, neighbor dog. Okay, I'm trying to talk about like the written word. Your barking can wait. <laughs>